better health for everybody, every day. Transforming lives, three minutes at a time. Listen up. This is your daily health tip from The Good Company. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Melissa from The Good Company talking all this week about Lyme disease. Guys, it is Lyme Disease Awareness Month um, and ticks are out in full force. In fact, my son uh, went over to the shed from our house yesterday after school and said he found a tick. Um, so tick checks after we are outside every day are important. If you are gardening, if you are mowing the lawn, if you are golfing, if your kids are playing somewhere in a wooded area, uh, tick checks are imperative. That means all clothes off, checking you know the front side, the back side, all the nooks and crannies. Um, if you find a tick and you can peel it off, a lot of times you'll find one, you take your pants off and you'll see one crawling up your leg. Generally, that means it hasn't bitten you yet. But if you find a tick that's attached or embedded into your skin, here's what you need to do. You need to use fine tip tweezers to grasp the tick as close to the skin's surface as possible. The tick will be burrowed face first into your skin with its behind up in the air. You want to get as close to the front, to the mouth, to the face as you can and pull upward with a steady, even pressure. Don't jerk it. Don't twist it. Go slow, just nice and steady. You don't want the mouth parts to break off into the skin, and that can happen. Um, if that happens, you need to leave it alone, um, and we're going to clean it. Um, but you don't want to go digging around in there. Um, after you remove the tick, um, save the tick. I'm going to tell you about what to do with that. But you're going to want to clean the bite area and your hands with rubbing alcohol or an iodine-based solution or soap and water if that's all you have. Um, avoid folklore remedies such as painting the tick with nail polish or putting petroleum jelly on it or using the heat to make the tick detach from the skin. Your goal is just to get the tick off the skin as quickly as possible, not waiting for it to detach. You just want to go for it and get it out of there. Now, once you've gotten it, you can do a couple of things with it. You can dispose of it by um, putting a live tick in alcohol or putting it in a sealed bag or container and tossing it in your trash. Uh, you can wrap it lightly in tape. You can flush it down the toilet. However, you don't want to crush it with your fingers. Bad idea. I've seen people do that with the back of their nail. You just don't want to get it anywhere near that bacteria. If you suspect that the tick had been attached for a while, you might want to send it to a lab to be tested for tick-borne diseases. There are a slew of them, as we talked about yesterday. Lyme disease is not only Borrelia burgdorferi, but um, the co-infections that usually ride along with that, which are uh, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Bartonella, Babesia, Ehrlichia, uh, Mycoplasma. There's quite a few of them. You can have that tick tested to see if that tick potentially was transmitting bacteria. Now they're saying one in three ticks uh, has these bad bacteria. So I'm going to leave in the show notes today um, some places that you can do tick testing uh, as cheaply as I think $50, you get your results back in three days. Um, easy you know, to know what you're dealing with. If you go to a Lyme specialist and you say, I was bitten by a tick that tests for these three bacteria, he'll have a, a good place to start or she will have a good place to start when looking at your case. So that's what you do if you find a tick and you've gotten bitten. Um, again, all week we're going to be talking about Lyme disease. It's important. So please share this with people that you love. Let them listen in. Let them be educated because if we don't know, we're really putting ourselves at risk.